Okay, I'll admit it. This problem's kind of tricky, so if you think you know the answer, try commenting it down below. So here we have that 300 joules of heat energy is absorbed in an isovolumetric process. We want to calculate the change in internal energy, so to solve this problem, I'll use the first law of thermodynamics, which says that our change of internal energy is equal to the heat absorbed by the system, which is 300 joules, minus the work done by the system. But here's the problem. We don't know what the work done by the system is. We don't have this variable in the problem, right? Well, there actually is a way we can figure this out. Because notice something. We have an isovolumetric process. Isovolumetric means that the volume does not change. And if the volume does not change, there is no work done by the system. Imagine this cylinder was filled with a bunch of gas particles. If this volume does not change, that means the gas particles are not expanding the volume they occupy. And if the volume is not expanded or compressed, no work is done. So the change in internal energy is simply 300 joules. Let me know if you got this one right.